Okay, so I've uh, I've taken the uh, the uh, the covers off the uh, off the carriage, and there's a little uh, um, metal uh, masking plate lifted off there, and there's a, a plate on the back uh, secured by these two screws that covers the uh, covers the springs. In the in the in the back of the uh, counter register. Now, the main thing with this, is, or the one thing I need to explain, is you need to you need to remove the uh, the clearing lever uh, before you can take the end plate off. Um, so I've I've done that and then reattached it. Right. Um, so basically, um, all the things that should move uh, well they don't so uh, uh, this uh, lever here that should be moving freely and it should return under the pressure of the compression spring excuse the cat uh, yes and um, there's a, um, a lever here that is supposed to, uh, well, when you operate the clearing lever, it is supposed to return back to its normal position under the power of this spring here. And uh, what what you need to do basically is lubricate it and just move that back and forth sometimes quite a lot until the until the, uh, the lubricant gets into all the uh, spaces it needs to and then this spring will do its job um, the other thing is the uh, these um, levers uh, these are the the, uh, the detent levers for the uh, so that the the number wheels uh, don't don't rest in between uh, their defined uh, positions, and these are supposed to move independently, uh, each under the with a spring on the back here. And but what happens with these is if you press one of the springs they all move and this is this is because every one of these levers is firmly gummed onto their common shaft and uh, and, and the way to deal with that is to take the end plate off here and dismantle the mechanism to gain access to the shaft and and uh, and remove all the levers from the shaft uh, uh, by by force if necessary um, but the but the rest of it's fine it's uh, so the, uh, the, the clearings a bit clunky uh, mostly because uh, these things are uh, uh, moving as a unit uh, they would they would normally uh, uh, be uh, well move independently, and the uh, it's 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 filthy. Uh, there's quite a lot of gunge in there, and uh, but these uh, number wheels they they do move. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, <laughs> squirt a load of lubricant in there and move it around until it all moves around. But uh, say I, when I when I repair these things, I don't take them down to their last component nut and bolt. I I do as much or, or do as little as I need to do in order to get it working. 
and uh, be well because I <laughs> because I I'm uh, uh, my uh, I have a limited uh, um, set of tools and uh, I can only dismantle them so far but uh, I have high hopes of getting this one uh, working suitably I'll, I'll come back later